Hello everyone, my name is Israel and I will be demonstrating how to use ImageJ, an image processing software to obtain color values in an image. This will be followed by an application of the technique as a cheaper alternative to follow really any number of things seen in what's called colorimetric analysis. Things ranging from pH change in a buffer system, reaction progress, changes in concentration, etc. This tutorial follows the procedure for the following Journal of Chemical Education article. It will include image analysis to obtain color values, and those values can then be plotted to generate what's called a calibration curve. You will need images that show a clear difference in either brightness or color for this. Once the images are obtained, uh, we can just move on to the next portion. Open ImageJ by clicking the .exe file. In my case, it's in this ImageJ folder. You should see a small toolbar window pop up, and this is not really different from other software navigation toolbars. So we can go ahead and open the folder containing our pictures. We can do this by clicking File, scrolling down to Open. Luckily, I didn't have to do really any navigating to reach these files. My images are already here. After finding the images that will be analyzed, simply open one. This will open a new window containing your image. Now we can click on image, scroll down to color, and finally click split channels. This does as the name implies and separates our image into red, green, and blue channels. Next, discard all but the red channel. If your image's file name is too long like mine is, it will omit the color channel name. Um, you can just maximize the window to counteract this, showing which window represents each color. Here we see that this, this is the blue channel, so we get rid of it. Likewise, we don't need the green channel, and this last one should be our red channel. Now that we have isolated the red channel, we want to click Plugins, scroll down to Macros, scroll to and click Record. A new box titled Recorder will open, but we can just move this to the side for now. Make sure the Rectangle tool is selected. Now go back to the red channel image, then click and drag to create a rectangle around the box of the image you want to analyze. Coordinates of the rectangle will appear in the recorder box. Now pressing M on your keyboard will run what's called measure in the recorder box and open a new box named results. The values from results are basically what we're looking for here. At this point, clicking Create in the recorder box will turn these instructions into a macro that can then be used to speed up repeating this process. In the macro window, clicking File and Save As will generate the macro file used in the next step. All we have to do is repeat opening the image and running the macro to obtain the rest of the brightness values. Now that we have saved our macro, and obtain our first value, we can simply repeat the process by opening our second image, splitting the channels like before, maximizing the window, and clicking Run in the macro window. The rectangle drawn before should appear once more, and the brightness value associated with running the macro will appear in the results window. Now we just need to repeat the process for the remaining images. Once we've finished processing our images and obtaining brightness values for all of them, we can click on our results table and save them. We're only really concerned with the mean brightness value. Uh, by clicking File, then Save As in this window, we can create what's called a CSV file. Opening the CSV file in Excel uh, will display the processing results in a table, just like the results window that can be copied and pasted. This leads us right into the next step of the application of this technique. 
open the CSV file in Excel and place the values in the same spreadsheet as the corresponding concentration of values. You can do this by selecting the table on Excel, clicking copy, then pasting the table onto the spreadsheet containing the rest of your data. Finally, we can just follow the procedure for creating a calibration curve uh, in the usual fashion. Um, just select the scatter plot, right click, and select the appropriate data for each axis. After filling your plot with the appropriate data points, Clicking on the green cross icon and checking the trend line box will produce a trend line necessary for finding the value of your unknown. Further, scrolling through the format trend line options and clicking on the box that says display equation on chart will do as the name suggests, display the equation necessary to solving for an unknown. To recap, this tutorial covered extraction of RGB values using ImageJ, how to generate command macros on ImageJ, and plotting values obtained in step one in a calibration curve. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.